car. Where are we going? Well, we're going to do sort of like a round trip, aren't we? Going to go to Wheat Town, are yeah. we? And then yeah. sort of round the top through what are those hills called? Machars. Yeah. Machars. I've got a map somewhere. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're, oh, you're going to show that, yeah. All right. <laughs> map. Yeah, so yeah. we're going to sort of go around in a big circle, aren't we? We're not really sure, but we wanted to try and get to the Isle of Whithorn, don't Whithorn. we? Because we've been yeah. recommended. The Steam Packet Inn. Steam Packet Inn, right, okay. Yeah, very okay. dog friendly apparently. Alright, so try and end up there for lunch we'll then. We'll try and do that, Okay, yeah. okay. Alright. Yeah, it's a lovely day. It is, isn't it? World War II RAF Air Base known as RAF Wigtown. This is at Baldoon, just one and a half miles south of Wigtown. My dad was here in late 1944 completing his navigator training. I have an extract from his logbook showing the final training flights he navigated in December 1944. After completing his training he joined 550 Squadron and North Killingham in Lincolnshire as a navigator on Lancaster's. really excited about coming here for some reason. <laughs> right, so which way should we go? I mean, I suggest we probably go right because we've got the harbour. Harbour? Let's go down to the harbour. A river walk. Oh, that yeah. sounds good. Yeah. Go yeah, on then. The old bank bookshop. Presumably that was an old bank. That'd be my guess. found something interesting. RAF station, Wigtown. 8th of October 1942. 20,000 feet. There's the runway. Alright. We're in the right place. Baldoon. 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 Hmm. Get that? She's going to cost me a fortune here. <laughs> <laughs> that was five pound that book, wasn't it? Yeah. But I also got that one as well. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, fascinating reading, though. Yeah. Right. Plenty of places to uh, eat, and the cafe there, and Cauldron Corner, guest houses. I think we went to the pub further up the road, yeah, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Up there. Yeah, we yeah. sat in the garden, didn't we? Yeah. It? Right, we're going to go down to the harbour now, have a little drive. Right.
waving at a motor, haven't they? <laughs> Barbara seems to be to the left. I think it spots over there. No idea where we're going to park. <laughs> it's a, it's, I told you you could have brought the van. You could have brought 100 vans. Set up a campsite here. <laughs> here. Must be a high tide here because it's at low tide at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. Look how high the mud banks are. Yeah. Wow. All right, go on then, Pops. We'll take him Popper for a little walk in. Come on, what are you doing there? Just down the coastal path. Yeah. There's a little walkway here, isn't there, Pops? I think it's attached to the bird, bird hide. On right, that step. All right, there you are. <laughs> I don't like to get in front of the camera. Chase the sheep away. You don't mind sitting for hours watching for birds, do you, Pops? <laughs> yeah. We're torn. I'm going to get some uh, soup and a sandwich or something like that. Soup? Oh no, perhaps not soup. <laughs> cool drink and a sandwich. Cool drink and a sandwich. Might be imagining it, but I just felt a drop of rain then. <laughs> no. no? It's definitely a lot cooler. It's not isn't cooler, it? yeah. not. isn't it? Got our tops on. Soft southerners. <laughs> Actually, we're also, we are in the south here, aren't we? In the south of Scotland. Scotland. Seafood. That's what you do, Poppy, isn't it? Seafood. Eat it. Yeah. We're parking around here. It's like a craggy rock, isn't it? Yeah, there's a slipway here. Yeah, you were saying it looks like quite an exciting launch, doesn't it, down there? Looks like there's plenty of parking actually for motorhomes up here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely park up here, couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Another stop in here. And a boat, yeah. Wildlife trail here. So where are we then? We're we're here, Isle of Whithorn. That's Port William. That's Wigtown where we've just been, and that's where we're going tomorrow. Yep. To the right down the bottom there. Well, that looks more further southwest than it is. Yeah, I suppose if you turn it round. Yeah. yeah. You're sure about your facts there? Yeah, positive. Never wrong. Okay. Oh, a little play area here. There's also a little tower up there. I'm just going to have an investigate. A 
that looks like a doggy memorial, doesn't it? Mr. Ben, just the best little dog ever. Oh, perhaps it's a, it's Dorothy as well, loving sister Jean. So it's not just dogs, eh? No. People have been putting stones here for some time there by the looks of it. Miss you mum. <laughs> Sophie, good dog and friend. <laughs> mum and dad. Can, yeah. Witness, can. I can't read that, can you read it? Celebrating not sure what the name is. The three St Ninians. St Ninians. Ninian rather. Three ninety seven to nineteen ninety seven. Dear visitor pilgrim, you are invited to add your own stone to this cairn which you have uh, completed. which you pledge, I can't read the rest of it. So basically add your stones. <laughs> Granny. Granny Sylvia. <laughs> We've got them all around the outside. Right here, Jessica. <laughs> Very nice. Right, I need to find some food now. Hey Pops, come on, yeah that's good, quite a view up there, yeah, yeah, well you must be able to see, that's in is that England over there, yeah, so obviously you've got Scotland here, I think you can just about make out um, Ireland over there, yeah, and the Isle of Man over there, so it's the five kingdoms and obviously the one up there <laughs> right next up is Whithorn yeah we were at the Isle of Whithorn weren't we so that's right so it's three and a half miles to Whithorn well there's supposed to be a priory isn't there yeah well, check that out that was so at the Whithorn roundhouse and we're going on the on the little tour. Hopefully. Apparently they come to get you. Do you want me to write the times on your ticket? The what sorry? I was gonna say I could write the times on the ticket for you if you wanted. So we're gonna go on the tour. I'm being warned that there's some cockerels in here. <laughs> You've got to be on your best behaviour, haven't you? Yeah, when she's going back to the car site here. You can see an inverted L shape there. Yeah. And that was the site of the original Whithorn dig. Right. Now back at the visitor centre we have a fantastic exhibition that should take you through the many stages that yeah. we came through here yeah. at Whithorn. Okay. Now this site took in total 10 years between the excavation and the write-off. It was 10 years. And as far as archaeological digs go, Whithorn stands very much in the world stage. Right. It's unique. We have got continual history from present day right down to early Christian. Oh wow. And you're going yeah. back to, well the most yeah. famous date of course is 397. Uh, with Ninian's yeah. arrival in the building of Kansas. That was a Kansai, 1600 but there was a set, a, yeah. There was a settlement here right. prior to that. Right. Right. And so this is around the period where the great uh, the Venerable Bede mentioned Ninian. Okay. Yep. And that's the 700s, 800s, 900s. So you're standing present day. This is how compact the history. You're standing present day here. Yeah. Yeah. I am now in the 7800s. 
Wow. Uh, yeah. So it wasn't a huge. Yeah. Yeah. And look at these parts. Then, of course, prior to that, we had a Christian period. Now, throughout all these periods, apart from present day, it's no doubt you've noticed in Whitchorn, it's quite a quiet, reserved little town. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, periods from the medieval going on all the way back. It was prosperous, it was big, it was loud. It was it was a town when yeah. Glasgow was still a bog. Yeah, yeah. And oh, Edinburgh yeah. was, was yeah. just a, a town full of drunken people. <laughs> I'll, as far as I'm aware, and I'll apologise to your I friends they, yeah. in Edinburgh. <laughs> no, they're from Glasgow. <laughs> well, that's okay. Well, as far as I'm aware, Edinburgh is still full <laughs> yeah. of drunken people. Yeah, yeah. Glasgow, however, is no longer a bog. No. So that's the Whithorn dig. Yeah. And fascinating it was. And had you been here when it was underway, what you would have seen was this place swarming yeah. with archaeologists literally yeah. from all over the world. Well, yeah. They're desperate to come and dig here. Wow. Black Loch took place, Black Loch dig, dig took place about four or five miles as the crow flies, yeah. very close to Monreef. Yeah. And had you been visiting there today, or had you been visiting there 450 BC when this was erected, when this was the village was actually happening yeah. you'd have been up to your knees in yeah, mud because it they yeah. built the entire village yeah. on a bog oh. wow why <laughs> <laughs> nobody quite understands why no. but we do know iron age had an affinity with water yeah yeah uh, but we can't figure out the reason why building a bog no uh, somebody suggested protection from the wildlife yeah whatever that was about it at that certain period in time but they just have built a fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Maybe it's the peat. peat. Yeah. Nobody can tell. No. But had you been visiting, there was this water yeah. all the way around. Yeah. Uh, and had you been coming up, yeah. there was revetment yeah. leaning against it. And yeah. Little people would have scurried up and seen if you were friends or not. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> then yeah. the gate yeah. would have been opened. Yeah. So we're now standing with not good leather shoes in very muddy water. Yeah. Now this is, this building is, has been built going by the footprint that being covered yeah. at the actual site itself. Okay, so you didn't find the, the, the wood in the underneath wood. it. This is what we're finding here. That's an example of the doorway that we found. Right, okay. Now that's been there okay. since 450 BC. Well. well. Because it was built in a bowl. Good grief. Anything that was organic is very, very well preserved. Yeah, it's yeah. The building I'm showing you now. Yeah. And that was the fourth structure. Yeah. That's wicker. Yeah. This is the start of an enclosure inside the actual building. This is a, this is the largest yeah. house that we that we actually found. I'm trying to find to show you what we actually found for the anything that was at ground level yeah. survived. Yeah. So anything above ground level is guesswork, but it's yeah. intellectual guesswork. Yeah. We're going by engineers, archaeologists, yeah. and architects working it out. So it's so been a big building, as, oh as you can see. It's been a, a very big building. Yeah. Now, the materials that you can see it was built with, you can still get all the materials at the site. Yeah. But not in the same capacity no. as you could have no. had back in the day. So we were very lucky. A lot of this was volunteer built. A lot of the materials was donated by local farmers right. and they brought their tractors in and everything. But it was absolutely a lovely community effort to build this. So apart from the reed. Now the reed, uh, as you know, it's quite rare to get reed uh, in Scotland. But we were very lucky when we were building it, they were working in the fourth or the first, the first, the fourth, fourth, one yeah. two. <laughs> and we were said, you might have a good chance of getting yeah, get the, some reeds, yeah. the reed, and we did, and okay. it was fantastic, okay. and it arrived, and it was all rotten and horrible, and oh, we couldn't use it. No. So this reed came from Hungary, Yeah. and so we put foreign <laughs> reed, apart from that, everything is local. Yeah. Right. Now, had you been coming here, this is a, it is a village, so you can imagine other wee houses dotted in front of it, beside it, or whatever, yeah. with wee walkways between it. So what you're coming up to is this fantastic big build house with this massive front frontage of oak. Yeah. Okay, and that can tell you that's something important because of the amount of oak. Yeah. Oak's a slow grower, so yeah. if you're using oak, yeah. you've got power. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. it's very much smoke and mirrors, because as you can see, yeah. it's got the wattle around the back. The wattle around the side, yeah. But if you were visiting, all you'd see was oak. Yeah. So it's like having the fantastic granite yeah. frontier house yeah. and the breeze yeah. block at the back. That's right. And this is what this chap's done, very yeah. clever indeed. Yeah. The wattle is hazel and it's a double one, so there's two 
concentric water walls going around and then it's been packed basically with anything we can get their hands on turkey mm -hmm. or anything yeah. just to firm it up wow. and that's outside of the building now i'll take you inside and tell you a wee bit more about it Terrific. we still didn't want to stop please come in your eyes will take a wee while to get used to it and it's uneven because their surface too was uneven Yeah. Now this is the inside <laughs> of the building. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that a funny noise? The planks no, are, I think she's still there. I think the, the planks are starting to oh, warp a wee bit. bit yeah. The other main material that was used was alder, as yeah. you can see. Wow. So it lends itself to these beautiful so straight huge, pillars yeah. and they're beautiful and straight. Not a lot of work needed. No. But what we did do was strip the bark off to yeah. stop, get the insects and things from yeah. stopping to Probably decay or, there, or eat. But because of the tools, finding wood and worked wood, yeah. you can f get an example of the type of tools that they would have used. Yeah. And this is about one tool to rule them all. Wow. So that they would so do a tremendous amount of yeah. work with just yeah. an axe. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. Centre of any home off. is the heart. Yeah. And just kind of roundhouse, Iron Age, people are just the same. Yeah. They, they, that was the centre. Now, how yeah. they've built it is they've got the wooden frame on the outside, yeah. cobbles, clay, building it up, yeah. and then this lovely massive uh, hearthstone in the centre. Yeah. Now this fire would have provided heat, heat and warmth obviously, yeah. light and somewhere to cook as well. Yeah. So it had made Up until this year, artifacts were far and few between. Uh, we uncovered things like uh, stone implements, stone tools, ten a penny, uh, so you get a tool, something like this. This is far too big for my hand. Mm -hmm. I'd have a smaller one. And you get a roundedness or a shine on it, mm -hmm. right? It's more rounded where it's been worked and you know yeah. it's been a stone tool. Yeah. Another thing that we got was quite a few of was saddle querns. Yeah. So you, you can see why it's called the saddle quern. Yeah. It's got a dip in the middle and that's through the grinding of corn or yeah. wheat or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I was in the, the day a couple of years ago and I found one and I was so excited. I found <laughs> one <laughs> and I was expecting the whole dig to come to a standstill because yeah. I had found a saddle yeah. quern and they basically looked at me and, and said, said, oh, another one. <laughs> no, they just said, stick a label and it's saying it's fine. And I'm like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Hurt my feelings, why don't you? Anyway, that's the, that's the kind of things we've been finding. Yeah. So this was St. Ninian, is said to have died, have been buried here at Whitbourne. By the 700s, there was a monastery and a shrine. You know where we've just been? Yeah. The Isle of Whitbourne is where he landed as much as a chapel there. Wow. So 637 of Enwall Bede is born. Mount St. Ninian's fame in his writing. 920 Norsemen conquer Galloway. You get the first stone crosses here. 1497 William the Fourth. James. James the Fourth rather. That's the first of his many pilgrimages. Jump forward to 1890 and the third Marquis of Butte finds excavations and restoration at Whittlewin Priory. So that's what it looked like. Yep, massive, wasn't it? So the little church there is that there, isn't it? That's right, yeah. Yeah, the bit that we see here is here that bit and it would have gone all the way across to the back. Wow. in here. She can go down there if she wants. Can't find a way down can you? 
He's looking for the stairs. Come on, Pops, we'll have a look over here. And the church at the back. Best known saints. But no, I, I don't. I, yeah. I don't like it. Just don't I like the TV. And then, why don't you use a big cut to tell you all those small cuts because they're working hard. Do you want to do it? Do you want to stop saying that? You know, well, little, little, um, this is the oldest Christmas uh, story. Well, the candle glass. Oh, good and grief. There's yeah. a section from the key yeah. here at the end right. and access to the crypt out the back. All oh, right, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah. any questions, just give me a shout. All right, thanks a lot. to the crypt. Echoes in here. were the walls of the bishop's coffins. So this was the sacred heart of the priory, St Ninian's sh Shrine. Pilgrims made offerings here, praying for health, happiness, and salvation. So much footage, you probably have to do a separate video on that. Yeah. Let's see. Right, so we're on our way to Port William now. Oh, very warm at the moment. Mm, it's only got warm, hasn't it? Yeah. What is this life if full of care we have no time to stand and stare? Don't think we've done much standing and staring really have we? <laughs> Busy going around. No, it's just Port William. It's absolutely gorgeous today. Yeah. A little bit of a fresh sea breeze. This is incredible uh, sign. 
Oh, there's a sign over here, isn't there? Yeah. Well, a different uh, place, isn't it? Mull of Galloway, 12 miles. Newcastle, 131. New York, 3,540 miles. Land's End. Land's End. 356. 356 miles. Actually, it doesn't seem that far away now. But Isle of Man is only 22. Yeah. Which way is the Isle of Man then? You can probably just about see it. Well, you can't, you're no chance seeing it on the GoPro. So, the no. Mall of Galloway, Galloway over there, we'll be going the other, going to there. It's over there. We'll be going there tomorrow. Tomorrow, we? yeah. I love this statue, it's that great though, isn't it? Yeah, I think this is our last stop for today. So if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe and uh, hit the bell hit, icon. Hit the bell icon, get it shaking. And we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Yeah. It's just moved. Well, were you moved? <laughs> no, no. It's moved. <laughs> Perhaps I better not lean on it too long. <laughs> right, see you then. Bye.